This is how you sleep comfortably on a plane. Firstly, wear your mask because there is a chance you will sleep with your mouth wide open so it will be a protection to germs and drooling. Step 2, my best friend was confused what I was trying to signal here but take your shoes off, you will feel so much more comfortable. Step 3, put your chair back as far as possible and put down the window shade. Step 4, squeeze the pillow between the window and the armrest then fold the blanket up and use it as a second pillow. Step 5, use a jacket for a blanket. This is why I always like to carry a jacket on my flight. Step 6, lean back diagonally. This way you'll have more leg space. Then find a comfortable spot to rest your head. You kind of want to lock it in place. And there you have it. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 2, middle seat version when you're sitting between two strangers. A lot of you guys had an issue with putting your seat all the way back, so I think you'll like this one better. First, put the seat table down and get your three best friends, the jacket, blanket, and the pillow. Pile them up nicely, one by one, and with the pillow, put it up vertically. And then rest your head. If you want to be more comfortable, hug the pile by putting your arm through it. And there you have it. Your neck won't hurt as much, but let me know if you want to see more plane hacks. I got many up my sleeve. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 3 when you're sitting next to someone you know. It took me years to figure these out, but for this hack you will be using the armrest. And of course a jacket or a blanket. Also, I like wearing my hoodies on the plane because I feel like it keeps your head clean and warm. Anyways, after you fold up your jacket or your blanket, you want to place it on top of the tip of the armrest, then rest the side of your head onto it. You can move it around a bit to find a comfortable spot. And the best thing about this hack is that both sides can use the headrest together. And it doesn't matter if you have an aisle seat or a window seat, it works everywhere. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 4 when you're traveling with your best friend. Today we're going to use the tables but this is what you don't want to do as it will hurt your back from scrunching up. First, pull up the armrest that separates you and your best friend. Secondly, put down the table not in front of us but the person next to us. Hopefully they're your family or friends. Make a pillow using your jacket or blanket then lay your head on top of it. Since your back is stretched out, you'll be comfortable for a longer period of time. Then your best friend can do the same thing on your back and rest her head on that. Hope that helps. This is how you sleep comfortably on a plane part 5 or 6 when you're flying alone. Look guys, I'm gonna be completely honest and tell you that I am indeed running out of ideas for this series, but I found a new method that could possibly work. I've always been curious of if these plane gadgets I see being advertised online would actually help me to sleep, so I bought this blow-up headrest to try it out. It actually took me around 3 minutes to set it up, which was pretty fast, then you put it down on the table, put your arm through the side holes, then rest your head on the top. My best friend also had a go to find the most comfortable spot, and I'm going to try a bunch of other gadgets too to rank them, but I think this one might be suitable for someone who sleeps on their belly like face down. It's a 5 out of 10 for me. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 7. So many of you guys said just book business class, are you broke? So I took your advice and purchased my whole row. Now I can put my armrest up and wrap myself in the blanket like a sushi roll and ta-da, now I have a comfy bed. You'll be able to sleep for hours and you can make fun of all the other people who doesn't have more than one seat and has to use my other plane hacks. And next, your best friend can lay right on top of you and just look how comfortable this looks. But on a serious note, let me know what other plane sleep gadgets you want me to try out. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 7 and today we're gonna try two gadgets. First one is this memory foam neck pillow that allows you to bend it and move it around. I've never seen anything like it and spoiler alert, I actually really enjoyed this one on my 12 hour flight. And of course this video is not sponsored, if it is I'll tell you. Our second sleep gadget is this blow up mattress but for your feet, it's a footrest. This one was actually a bit difficult to set up, it did come with a pump but I couldn't get it to work that well. When it finally finished it was a bit too big to go between the spaces so I had to let out the air a bit. And it was pretty comfy for a couple of hours but it really got in the way towards the end. And let me know what other gadgets I should try out. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 8 and today we are back to the basics using a neck pillow and an eye mask. I bought this neck pillow at the airport because the design was very different to other neck pillows. It was pretty thick and I thought the fact you can hang it up on your seat so your neck is supported was a great feature. And I don't know if this is a hack too but I put my hair on top of my head when I'm wearing a hair clip on a plane or a car. It's more comfortable that way. And also I used to never wear an eye mask on the plane because it felt restraining but now I see why you need it. This is a must. The lights don't get in your eye so you're not awakened as easily and look, my head was pretty well supported. Just make sure you're not hanging it up on someone's screen. And it fits compact in a bag too. This is how to sleep comfortably on a plane part 9 and I'm gonna tell you a secret, I've been gatekeeping. But first, these two items I always carry with me which is a foot hammock and a noise cancelling headphones. The hammock is light and compact and it's actually very comfortable and I'm using the new Sony ones but I always have headphones and earphones because I need both. For watching movies, listening to music or sleep or blocking out crying kids. I highly recommend investing in good noise cancelling ones like these and the travel hack is if you travel in twos, book without the middle seat. Meaning you guys sit on each side so there's a higher chance of the middle seat being free because no one likes to sit in between people. And if someone does sit there, you can kindly ask to swap if you want to sit with whoever you're traveling with. It doesn't work on full flights of course and this hack honestly isn't that harmful so there it is.